Hey everybody, the Banga's back. Welcome to part 55 of Let's Play Final Fantasy XII, The Zodiac Age. Alright, for anybody that's curious why I'm back in Hene Mines, it turns out there was a treasure that I could really use, but I did not pick up because it didn't spawn at the time. It's actually a ribbon! And it, it's something that will protect you against all ailments, well, except for insta-death, and banish, of course. So, for anybody wondering where you get it, it's right where I'm standing. It is like a percentage chance, but if it's gonna spawn anywhere, it's right here. So I think there's more than one ribbon you can pick up in the main game, outside of maybe trial mode. But I have to go back to the, uh, Subterra of the Pharaohs. I'll probably do that sometime later. Don't know if I'll need more than one ribbon, but it'd be very helpful. All the same. Alright, so I'm gonna get the hell out of here and head for a Sulkin Cave Palace, because that's where we find the Hellworm. Give me quite a while. Alright, a few minutes later, I want to make sure my gambits are set up the way I wanted to before I go in the door. And also, I made sure this is how my equipment looks. I gave Balthier, Balthier the Pheasant Netsuke. Bosch the Germinus Boots. I don't know if we'll need Ribbon for this. Actually, you know what? I could use a Ribbon for Pinello. Once she gets low on MP, we'll start using High Ethers. I think that would be a wise idea for the most part. And I gave her the white mask because it absorbs holy. You're gonna need to absorb holy, believe it or not. Uh, Bosch will also be using Excalibur because Hellworm is actually weak against holy. You know, despite the fact he has a very powerful attack that also inflicts holy. Balthier is not gonna be doing any attacking. Instead, we're just gonna debuff like there's no tomorrow. So I guess, like, Expose and Wither will be really good. Because Bosch is going to be our main damage dealer, thanks to Excalibur. If I have to give him a shield, I'll use the Shell Shield. Make sure you invested plenty of time, because let me tell you... This boss will take quite a while. Like, it's got more than one health bar! Alright, let's start by lowering its defense severely. Okay, Balthier, I think I want you to start lowering his attack. Not doing much now, but that could probably change real soon. See, see those little bars on the bottom? Each notch is one health bar. Now we're doing over 20,000 plus damage. In fact, I say we can do even more. I'm gonna give Bosch the uh, Bacchus one. Make him go berserk. Now it's over 30,000! Holy crap! Is Bosch being decoyed? I don't know. Okay, he's got his attention. Keep lowering that defense. I'll throw in the occasional wither as well. So yeah, his HP, Hellworm's HP, totals the millions! So that is why it's good to have lots of good damage. Okay, Judgment is coming. Judgment is upon us, so this is where you would need a Sage's Ring. Have everybody absorb light. Pinello already does that. Because this attack is holy based. I 
I think that's the worst of it. I don't know if it inflicts an ailment, too. Okay, it inflicts stop. So that's kind of annoying. That's good reason why you need the ribbon, too. And now we can keep acting. So keep an eye on judgment. Okay, it's wither long enough. Go back to expose. Oh, a Bosch just got uh, insta-killed. Alright, now we gotta apply all the stuff to him. See, so, yeah, a Hellworm does have a chance to inflict instant death. <laughs> That's what can make this fight a problem. See what I mean? <laughs> and the sad thing is, there's no way you can actually prevent it. Outside of, you know, just have him not attack ever. But it's ideal to have Bosch decoy. Because as long as, like, your healer is not taken down, you're not going to be dealing with severe delays. Okay, I don't think it can be exposed anymore. Oh, I didn't even see it use Judgment again. Ah, shoot. I wasn't even paying attention. But nobody got stopped. I think it has something to do with Shell. Yeah, I think this equipment is just the way I like it. Yeah... Expose just keeps missing, so go to Wither now. Like, just lowering its physical damage does not matter if it can still insta-kill you on a whim. Alright, Balthier, I know what I'm gonna have you do. I'm gonna have you actually attack. I'm gonna give you the shell shield. We're gonna switch it up for a little bit. Oh, it's writing Darka? Oh no, I'm so scared. See, this has a treasure on top of it, too. Okay, Balthier is doing over 20,000 a pop, which is great. This guy's hitbox is so big. That ring is just up there in your face. a high ether. Just saying. Actually, let me set that as a gambit. If MP goes less than 10%, start using a high ether. I'm glad I know where I can go get some. That is such a relief. It really is. Yeah, I think I'd rather nullify holy damage than nullify stop. Oh, right now two of us are stopped.
Oh, that's shitty. I mean, Bubble is nice, but I think I should have you Chronos tearing. Why are you not doing that? I have it as a gambit. Oh, not for you. Yeah, that might be the problem. I don't have it for her. And Suna doesn't do shit. I'll take out one of the attack gambits. Ally status equals stop. Chronos tier, baby. It should go up here. Ooh, what is this? Oh, a Hastiga moat. It's a thought that counts, I guess. Yeah, I think Bosch could really use a bubble. Real talk. Can I expose it even more? Did the debuff go away? No, they missed again. So it's probably still active. Oh god, this camera. Work with me, camera. Holy shit! I love seeing a health bar rinse like that. Baj and Balthier have just been like a two-man force. You know, I haven't really done this. Here. You could use the uh, extra boost too. Keep calling on the pressure. I'm glad the insta-kill chance for Hellworm is really low. Could you imagine how bad this would have been if it was like 80% of its hits can insta-kill? Sorry. Just get fucked. <laughs> okay, hi Ether and yourself. I'm okay with that. Alright, I'll do the Kronos tier. Whoever thought that just like that, Balthier became a really valuable ally? Um, maybe we should use one Adol. Just to slow down the damage from magic. Still missing! That's good. That's real good. Yo, this is sick. Still putting up quite a fight. Like, even though we're doing insane amounts of damage, this fight is still not even half done. Oh, that's a beautiful combo! <laughs> you love to see it. Now look, it doesn't even crack a hundred on physical strikes anymore. The only disappointing thing about it, there's no debuff for speed. Unless you're using the slow spell. That's the one thing we'll have to do without. Well. Alright, 
Alright, so far so good. We're still winning. <laughs> oh, I had to walk to ball there because I can't just throw the Cronus tier like Kobe. But Kobe could. I think I want to addle this again. Just to keep that magic damage from being really low. Hmm, not doing 20,000 anymore. Does the expose wear off over time? No, it's still there. Maybe Bosch is. Yeah, he is braved. I wish you could put a number to how much HP this guy has. Like, how many million do I still need to rinse? Alright, Penelo, I'm gonna have you do something else. You siphon. Maybe that'll save on a high ether. Oh no, it it didn't work. Okay, well that was a waste of one MP. There's no sense to have her use holy, honestly. There is sense to have her do another Bacchus line. I'm thirsty. Give me drink. And then we just let the fireworks happen. I'm starting to wonder, maybe Judgment will do, like, paltry damage now. Could I just, like, take that off? And just nullify stop instead? There's a case to be made to do either or. Hey, th th that ring around his uh, neck there, is it, is it burning into your eyes yet? Do you need to see more? How about this guy wrangle? Actually, let, let's just control Balf here, because he has a better angle of this. Another rattle should do. That is a cool looking axe on him, not or not axe hammer. Why can't you Oh right, because you're preserved, duh. How about you use bravery on both here? Help him catch up on damage. Okay, knock on wood, but we haven't had an insta death in a while. Pray it stays that way. Oh great, both our DPSs have been stopped. Oh, Remedy works on stop as both here. Okay. That's right, because he has Remedy Lore 3? Yeah, you need 3 to stop. Stop. Okay, 3 quarters of his HP seems to be down. Unless my math is wrong. Let's 
Like, he's just casually swinging that hammer like it's Dark Souls. I remember when I streamed Dark Souls 2. My main weapon actually was a hammer. Like, then it was the Craftsman Hammer. It was actually pretty fun to use. Sometimes I use the, uh, the Butcher's Blade that I got from the Rotten Soul. It was actually fun, too. Oh, Bosh is just tanking this like a champ. What a guy. Oh, wait. Father still has bravery? Huh. I thought it wore off. See, I'm worried what Hellworm is going to do now that it's at critical. Like, what other trick does it have up its sleeve? Nobody got stopped. Good. Keep it going. Keep on the pressure. That's it. Just a little more. Just keep clobbering at that ankle. action. I'm gonna wither it again. And then I'm gonna expose it again. So I'm wondering if it just got a stat boost from being a critical. Nope, I still can't lower the defense. It's as low as it can be. Can't really do any more to it. I think now bravery wore off on Bob here, did it? Yes, it wore off. Fix it back up. Almost dead. Five or six more bars to go. I was wondering when you were going to use judgment again. Too far away. Get closer to our dude. Invert. Oh god, it's gonna start pulling in invert now. Oh god, it's it's using it way more. More frequently! Holy shit, this is bad. Just so casually, just doing it more and more. Okay, now I have to really lower his magic power in case he just dies.
Okay, at this point, Pinello, you're just gonna have to focus on Kiraja and nothing else. No, but I we gotta keep all these other buffs. You know what? Get rid of for now. Hastiga, Protecta, and Shelga. That way you're not stuck casting something else while we're inverted. It's almost like every second spell now! Holy shit! It is every second spell! Holy Jesus! See, at least it's doing so little now. Then even if you get hit before being healed, it does it doesn't do anything. And... Oh, that sound effect is loud. millions of HP we just had to whittle down, but we did it. Oh, man. What a ride that was. Okay, is there anything else in here? No. But I think something would spawn in here. But on a small, like, small chance. I believe it's a shield, though. That'd be nice to get it. If I can. Let's see if it shows up in second try. If not, I'll just wait. I'll just get it on my own. But the good news is nothing does spawn here. So, if you want to go in and out of that room, you're more than welcome to do so. Oh boy, oh boy, that was a pain in the ass, but we somehow got through it. So I think this unlocks the next hunt, and it's also the final hunt in the game. Now, let's put the gun back on. Oh, apparently you can find mud shot in Hene Mines as well. Once again, like, a percentage chance, it appears. Uh, let's go with Cat Hood for now, because the rest of the enemies are just piss easy. And same for you. You can go with the Choker. Alright, so I'm just gonna get the hell out of here. I think we'll go pay Mont Blanc a visit. Alright, several minutes later, we made it out of uh, Salkin Cave Palace. Oh yeah, I forgot to see uh, Mont Blanc, but I think, for now, why don't we take a break from severe combat and actually do some fishing? I haven't done that in a long time. Let's be nice to relax. Good old button inputs, and you had to be quick. I think you had to do this several times before you can get to the next area. That's enough. So we got six common fish. And a water stone. Alright, let's do it again. You gotta get, get like several perfects, like I said, you get to the next area.
Again, I'm not a fan of like having to input uh, buttons within a time limit. Because it's just reminding me of Final Fantasy X-2. Calibrating those stupid lightning towers. Well, what more can you do, right? Four common fish and a couple empty bottles. Ooh! Looks like there's a note inside the bottle. Think it might be a treasure map? Ah, not likely. Go on, take it. It's yours. A blue bottle? Oh, there's one shining down the waterbed. Oh, it's a high potion. Okay, so sometimes you'll find different colored bottles. Okay, this small bottle contains a message. Truth lies just beyond falsehood. C, D, Z, C, K, Z, M, D, C, R, A, N, Z, S. Okay, so there's actually like little ciphers for these clues. I guess we can try for this one. What you have to do for the blue bottle is advance one letter on each of the letters here for the cipher. So, instead, if we advance them, you would get D, E, A, D, L, A, N, D, S, B, O, A, T. It says, Deadlands Boat. Alright, we'll come back for that later. And For now, I think we should just keep fishing. Maybe we'll find another colored bottle. This bottle is also colored. I think there's like five different colored bottles. That's enough. The only thing annoying about this quest is you gotta do it a lot. Three common fish. Oh, no, inside this bottle too. The green bottle. Alright, so what is the green bottle, eh? Skip on stones to Farbank Shore. By skipping stones, return once more. Skip on stones to Farbank Shore. By skipping stones, return once more. So in other words, skip a letter in this cipher. And then when you get to the end, go the other way. So for the green bottle, this clue is S A L I K. A H U T N E A R D E A D L A N D S. Salika Hut near Deadlands for this one. Okay, so that's how it works. Mm, let's keep fishing. Looks like you're getting the hang of it. I think you're ready to try a new spot next time out. All right, let's go midstream. Hopefully all the inputs are the same for this round, too. Savvy, of course. I think they're just moving a bit faster. Oh! D-pad? I didn't get it perfect. But now they're coming down vertically, too. I didn't get a perfect. Ah, damn. A bit better luck. Dude, you missed one! Get over yourself. And we got a red bottle, at least. This small bottle contains a message. Foothills rise in mountain shadow. N H L I Q S T U R E E 
Um, this one, I'm not sure. Do you have to, like, take all the capital letters and then make them one word? Even then, it looks very weird. Eh, I'll come back to it later. Oh, hold on. I might... I might... Wait. <laughs> yep, it was a sneeze, all right. All right, we'll come back to that. I don't know if I'm going to do the whole fishing quest, but I'll do enough. I did say I was going to go see Mont Blanc, so maybe I should go do that now. I believe that should unlock the final hunt. <coughs> Excuse me. Yeah, it's certainly much better when you actually feel a sneeze coming on and it actually is a sneeze. Oh wow, I got over 5.4 million gil. I thought I'd be pretty damn low at this point, but no, I'm still doing fine. I bet you if I had six cat ear hoods and did trial mode, I would just come out filthy rich. You're gonna defeat the Hellworm! Impressive, Koopo! I give you this with my compliments. I'm beside myself to have a member of my clan accomplish so great a feat, Koopo! 50,000 gil. Any new marks? Yep! The last mark. And it's rank 8. Yasmat. No creature more foul walks this evilly, Scoopo. The time to vanquish this threat is come. I await stout hundred warriors to meet this challenge. You sign on to the hunt? The petitioner is none other than me, Koopo. I finally found a hunter hunter worthy of this hunt. Of course, I'm talking about you, Koopo. I founded this clan in hopes of one day fostering a hunter with the metal to face the mark I'm about to describe to you, Koopo. Of course, you are free to decline this contract, no questions asked, Koopo. But I implore you to consider my request earnestly before deciding. So please, for me, we accept this quest? Thank you, Koopo. You can't know how much this means to me. Now, where to begin? I'll try to keep this long story short, Koopo. As you may know, I have five brothers and sisters. We've each made happy lives for ourselves, from airship machinist to chocobo wrangler. We all learned our various trades from one teacher, a wise master whom we all hold in the very highest regard, Koopo. Then one day, the creature appeared, and the carefree lives we led were lost to us forever. Our master fought with all his might to drive the creature back. It was a bitter battle that spanned many weeks. In the end, only the creature stood. Our master's power was spent, his body exhausted. He had poured everything into the struggle, and nearly emerged the victor. Or so I like to think. I was too young then to do more than watch as the creature lim lumbered slowly away. Kupo! Never has it been seen again. But still, it lives. Kupo! You must find it! And destroy it. Had I the strength, I would do it for myself, or do it myself. But this creature is powerful beyond words, unrelenting, merciless, the terror of all Ivalice. Should you fight it, you may very well die for your efforts. Even so, I must ask of it of you. Rid us of this creature. Vanquish Yasmat. Yep, this is pretty much the super boss with the highest amount of HP of any boss in the game. Like, I'm talking tens of millions. Oh, I also forgot to check the Centurio because we got the Hellworm badge. We got the title of Radiant Savior. Alright, so there we go. Hunt 45. Its precise whereabouts are unknown. Now, I think I might have mentioned this earlier in the Let's Play, but I'll tell you where it is. It's in the Ritorana Cataract, in the Colosseum. 
have fun with this one, because that place is also littered with traps. Yeah, it's gonna be absolutely brutal. Alright, I think what I'm gonna do... Maybe we'll just do some more fishing. Before we even try to, like, figure out, like, uh, where the clues lead, I still gotta get more bottles. So, yeah, I think the rest of this will just be a little bit more fishing. Just to give us a reprieve from what we've been doing. I think it's very much welcome. I, you know, come to think of it, maybe the reason I struggled for those super bosses on the PS2 version was not just the reduction, not that there was a damage cap. I never even bothered to use the debuffs. I just didn't think they mattered as much, but it turns out they really, really, really did. Alright, so I gotta remember to use the D-pad instead of the stick. That way I don't mess it up like last time. Oh! That was the last one too! I entered the input but I was too slow. Alright, I'm gonna give this, um... I'm gonna give this, like, maybe one more try. Because, like I said, I'm not committed to finishing this quest. At the very least, I want to try to get the bottles. And then just solve them. There. Oh, that's a big fish. Maybe you only get one big fish per midstream? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, I'm just worried for like the later streams. It could be up to six inputs, could be seven inputs, could be eight inputs. I am not looking forward to that. Oh well. Alright, so I think what I'm gonna do, since we got time, let's head for Nebraeus Deadlands, so I can at least go for one of those hints. Is that near a boat? Question is, what boat? So I could swear there was more than one boat in the Deadlands. But I know there was definitely one over that way, I think. And I could use the excuse to just try to power level some more. For when we finally do the Yes Knights battle. Like, if you have a good setup, you can probably win that fight in maybe... Like, maybe well over a dozen minutes, maybe 20 minutes. But on the PS2 version, remember, you only could do 9,999 damage per attack. So even if you did, like, a three-hit combo, that's still under 30,000 damage. When you're dealing with a boss that probably had over 50 million HP, that fight can last you over an hour. For one fight! Now, the good news is, if you just fought the boss, and then you zoned out, and continue the fight, the boss will have the same amount of HP. But if you went to the other side while still in the same zone, it would eventually use Renew. And when that happens, it gets all its health back. 
So if you're gonna leave the fight, make sure you get out from the closest exit you can. Or you are just gonna let the boss get all its health back. Hmm. I thought there was a boat there, but no, it was on the other side. I think I know where a boat is. Like, I definitely remember seeing one, I think it was south of the, uh, teleport crystal. I thought there was just another boat on top of that. But, no, there actually isn't. Yeah, what the hell, we'll just go look for that boat. I don't know if it was in the slumber mead. Or below that? Or to the side of it? I don't remember. I'll keep forgetting those back Namis also have guns. But it's still a non-issue right now. Now nah, we don't need to reactivate that crystal. Oh, it's it foggy. Uh-oh. You pissed it off by using magic. Thanks for the free face stone. You bitch. Oh, so many bad memories of being in this spot, just trying to zone in and out banshees over and over and over and over again. Just to get enough black masks. Because the drop rate for that is pretty low. And I could have, like, crafted a black mask, but I didn't have enough blood pool. Was it on this little peninsula right here? Yes! Faint glow. The light coming from the water resonates with the blue bottle you hold. Hold the bottle nearer to the light. Without warning, the blue bottle shatters. And a wanely li li limbed message. Hmm. I wonder what it says. River under O. Okay, so I guess like all five bottles, when you solve their puzzles, com combine into a bigger puzzle. Maybe the only reason I care to do the fishing is just to get the bottles. So I might just get the bottles off screen, but solve them on screen. <laughs> Sound good? I think that sounds like a plan. Alright, so let's go to Salica Wood. And we gotta head in the direction of the Nabreus Deadlands. They said go to a hut near there. So how this works, I think we just gotta go straight north? Yep, I believe so. Okay, that shouldn't be too tough. Just gotta look for a hut. We'll just try the hut closest to the Nebraeus entrance. Oh! It's actually this one! Okay, the light coming from the undergrowth resonates with the green bottle you hold. And we got a haste gum mode for it. And a green-hued message. What does that one say? Forest grow o River under O. Forest undergrowth? Hmm. Well, we gotta solve the other ones. So, anyway, I think what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do some more fishing, and then when we come back, I'll have all the other bottles ready to go. So, give me a few minutes.
All right, a few minutes later, I figured out what the uh, red bottle was. And I did fish for the other bottles too, so that's been sorted out. So it turns out like the main reward for the fishing quest is a, a badge. And it's one of three badges needed to create an ultimate greatsword called the Worm Hero Blade. I don't think I'm going to need that because I'm already packed with like great weapons. So Foothills Rise and Mountain Shadow. I thought that was a lowercase l. Turns out that's an I, so that would mean the only big cap, like the capital letters in this are like I, Q, T, U, E, so probably like quiet. And then the other ones is like shrine. So there is a quiet shrine over Moss Foreign Highways, which is where I am right now. Go to the northwest part and you can see something sparkling. Red Bottle Shatters, and we get a Holy Moat for that. And then we get the Vermilion message. Which says, Fire Unbuh-H. Alright. Oh yeah, I forgot to take a look at the other bottles that I got off screen. Okay, it's the yellow bottle and the black bottle. Dragon Stir Among the Eaters of the Wind. Twelve... Five, seven, nine. Basically what that means... Oh wait! No wait, that's not twelve! That's one! Okay, so it's only one, two... But the numbers three, four, six, eight, and ten... Are off. So only have one, two, five, seven, and nine. Eaters of the Wind, that's like Windmill, so Sorobi Step is where we gotta go for this one. Black Bottle, easy as ABC, so count yourself lucky. So, like, each number represents the letter of the alphabet it's for. 19 is the... well, S is the 19th letter, so... S. And, let's see... H is 8th. H... I J K L So S L 21 is U so S L U I C E G A T E uh, Okay 18 is R R A Sluice Gate Rats so that's over at Garam Scythe Waterway. Alright, let's go to Sorobi Step first. I think the best way to do that is through the Strahl. So let's go do that. Okay, first I gotta find what the... what windmills they are and where. Because there's some here, and there's some there, and some up here. I don't think it matters what order you gotta do it, just as long as the correct ones are off and on. I guess we'll go around this way first, not that it really matters. What is this one? If, if I can be allowed to do something, I would love to do it. Number six. I can start the number six windmill if you want. Kupo. A windmill isn't a windmill unless it's milling in the wind. Uh, keep number six off. Let's go to the next one. Number seven. Okay, keep this one on. It's working exactly as it should. Wow. Okay, next windmill should be over here. So luckily the first two windmills are already doing as they should. 
We don't have to adjust those. What about these three? It's probably eight, nine, and ten. Yo, this would be great if I didn't have to be interrupted by every single enemy in existence. Thank you. Number eight. Okay, number eight needs to be stopped. Did you see it stop? Yeah, I was watching. I was watching. Guess I can just turn the gambits off. Just ignore everything. I'm more or less finished checking out the windmill, just doing the last few minute checks. Number nine windmill needs to stay on. Number 10 definitely needs to be off. I think it's already off. Yeah, screw this. Turn the gambits off. Otherwise, we're gonna get interrupted by every single attack imaginable. And these are already doing, like, not even 100 damage. So why would I even need to fight them now? I can just go do my own thing. There, they're leaving me alone too. Well, that one isn't. The only ones I really need to worry about are the ones that can probably do an instant kill. And how often does that happen? Alright, oh, I still have an accessory for equipment for countering. Are you kidding me? <coughs> Excuse me. Well, I guess I can use Esunaga. I think that's the first time I've needed to use that spell. Number one. Should be on. It is on. Uh, number two is not on. So, please turn it on. And number three should be still off. It's not. It needs to be off. It stopped. You did it. Oh my god. This is starting to piss me off because we're gonna get... Every enemy is coming after us. And not only that, they chase you and chase you and chase you. They have to die. Yeah, enough. So how will I even know, like, uh... If the bottle is gonna react, does it do that if it's already fine tuned the way it should be? Okay, that's number four. That should stay off. Oh my god. Oh my five. Five needs to be on. Probably never thought I'd talk to you at all. <laughs> Without warning, the yellow bottle in your inventory shatters. That's kind of dangerous. An auric message. Ash Ridge Ur. When I get all the messages together, we're definitely gonna have to sort them so I can view them all together. I believe that's what I'll have to do. For now, let's just head for Garam Scythe Waterway next. Because that should be for the last bottle. To Rabbit Aster, please. Vane is 
probably gonna be quivering in his boots when he finds out what I've been doing. While he's been sitting there in the Baja mood for so long. He's probably wondering, like, what are these guys up to? I've been sitting here for like three weeks. What the frick? Actually, I don't know if it's really been that long. Also, where the hell am I going? Oh, there we go. Like, I think the episode when I finally got to the part where the Baja mode appeared was like probably a couple weeks ago. In terms of my recordings. But I could be off. Okay, so I gotta go to Garam Scythe Waterway, go to the Sluice Gates, and look for some rats. I might want to turn my gambits off in case I accidentally attack the rats, if you can. Let's just hope that does not happen. We'll just keep an eye on everything here. Oh, oh no, these are just regular rats. They don't fight. Okay, I'm gonna put it on regular speed. Probably scurrying off somewhere. But they're spread out. Oh, here we go! It's right here! The black bottle shatters. And we got an elixir. An onyx message! Okay, so that's all five messages. I can go ahead and hit sword so they all be pinned together. Now I just gotta figure out what the messages even mean. River under O, forest over or O, fire und ash ridge darkness tone. Hold on, let me look at this. Let me just go break it down by word. River, forest, fire, ash, darkness. But what if I use, like, the second clip? Under, er, grow, underground, bridge, tone, bridge tune, N, O, now, a bridge underground? There's one place that comes to mind. I think I'm gonna need to go to Barheim Passage because wasn't there like a bridge there underground? Can't be Lusu mines. Like some of the bridges were above ground. Yeah, I think I need to go to Barheim Passage. Alright, so I'll meet you there. Alright, so we made it to Barheim Passage, so what we want to do. There's actually a bridge right around here, I believe. I think it's like the West Annex or the Zavia Span. Like, either way, that's a bridge underground. So, let's head there right away. Okay, there was nothing over there, so... I can leave that spot alone. Okay. I think we're making some things happen. Just hope I'm... Figure out where exactly is the spot I gotta go. 
not that way. Or at least I can ignore everything else. Wait a minute, did I not pick this up? Oh, that's the Barheim candle! Wait a minute! I never picked this up? Oh shit, I might want to turn my gambit sift back on. I'm gonna face the combat. So, I just gotta go under a bridge somewhere. Oh, wrong way. But where exactly is the correct spot? This is the place that comes to mind. Now I just gotta find where in that spot it is. Could be in the next area, actually. That spot's more underground. That might end up being the wise choice. Oh. Something was blinking. Oh. over here? Oh, I forgot. There's almost like a dozen enemies at a time you'd be fighting. I keep forgetting that it's this place. I don't think it'd be any of these passages. What if I go straight over here? Nope, that's not it. I'm trying to find where that spot is. I hope it's not a very arbitrary spot. Like, that's so tiny, you had to, like, walk right up to it to find it. That would be frustrating. Oh, no, you just have to walk up to that spot. <laughs> I thought I'd beat you. Too long has it been, my friends. It is I, Gilgamesh! Ah, but do not worry. I am not here to spill your blood today. I came here on a rumor that I might find a treasure of legend sleeping in these tunnels. Alas, there was no treasure. I used a stick I found, and nothing more. A waste of precious time. It bears no hint of semblance with the sword of legend I seek. Yours for the taking, should such rubbish appeal to you. A Matamune! It's a new fishing rod. Come, Enkidu! Aru! I like how they play the battle music even though it's a conversation. Alright, so we're pretty much done here. We got the new fishing rod. So now, we should head back to Damascus for Sand. I'm gonna give it to Roxol. So, give me a few minutes. Alright, we made it back to the Estra Sand. Bruxel, I got a present for you. Um. Well, well, what have you got there, boy? If I didn't know better, I'd say there was Matamune, the Rod of Legend. Let's have a look. I can hear it speaking to me. It wants me to keep it. it must be love at first sight. Sorry, boy, but if that's what the rod wants, that's what the rod gets. Not to worry, though. You're still my fishing partner. Ah, we'll do one more fishing, and then we'll just call it there. 
But I think that should help you get some rare stuff, too. Too bad it didn't just slow down the movements of the fish. Oh well. Can't always get what you want, right? I think to get to the next area, you gotta get so many perfects consecutively this time. So that's really gonna suck. Oh well, that's just how it is. So, again, I'm probably not gonna bother with the uh, ultimate sword, because I already got a pretty good one. I already got quite a few, actually. So anyway, it's high time we stopped it here. And in the next part, I'm gonna make sure that we get a little bit more training in before we go after the Yasmet. Because that's gonna be taking up a lot of my time. Goodbye, everyone. Thanks for watching.